specific gun I'm asking you about is M1 Garand. And I'm going to read to you. I've got it here on a poster behind me. Oh, if you're talking I'm about the weapon behind me, that's a historic weapon. I'm so that's read. exempted because it's a historic, it's like a relic. It's like read. a collector's item. So it's Nobody safe. uses those in mass shootings. I'll have to read him a quote again from General Patton. In my opinion, the M1 rifle is the greatest battle implement ever invented. Now, I know... If you're quoting General Patton, that's good evidence it's a historic <laughs> weapon. <laughs> At least respect the victims of gun violence in this room and all across this country enough to not play games with some old, you, uh, what I forget, what, Patton, and probably have some from the colonial times. Like, really? Really? You're saying because this gun has a pistol grip, it's more lethal than the gun that shoots a cartridge that's twice as powerful. There is no question that there are a number of guns that are not semi-automatic assault rifles that are dangerous and capable of killing. What is different? No, the gun, let me, you, reclaiming my time, the gun, specific gun I'm asking you about is M1 Garand. And I'm going to read to you. I've got it here on a poster behind me. Oh, if you're talking I'm about the to, weapon behind that's a historic weapon. I'm so that's read. exempt because it's a historic, it's like a relic. I'm going it's to like read. a collector's item. So it's Nobody safe. uses those in mass shootings. Uh, Last time I, I, I checked. I'm, I'm going to submit for the record two articles from the 90s where that gun was used in a shooting. 30 uh, years ago? No, what you're pretending is that you can ban a plastic gun and that a wooden gun look, won't be used. Look, if you want to add that gun to the list, you think it's still a danger, I'm happy to take that amendment. But it's not. Let's be serious no, about none this, of Mr. Them, Massey. Reclaiming These my are time, guns Mr. that are Chairman, slaughtering like children. And stop playing games with historic antique Massey relics. We've got the author of the bill claiming that an M1 Garand is not a military weapon. When, in fact, I'll have to read him a quote again from General Patton. In my opinion, the M1 rifle is the greatest battle implement ever invented. Now, I know... If you're quoting General Patton, that's good evidence it's a historic <laughs> weapon. I, what I need to also show you, because we were, we were uh, forced to watch a, a video of ballistics of a 223 round entering gelatin, you should also show the video of a 30-06 round entering gelatin because it's more than twice as powerful. And this is, yet yeah, this is not the gun that Mr. Cicilline bans because it doesn't get him any political points. It does, Cause it, it does does not, because it's, it's used. Will the gentleman yield? Does, no, I will not yield. Control. You had a chance. You have no logic behind your bill. Every one of you are saying this bill bans uh, weapons of war, when in fact it bans AR-15s, not M-16s, it? and it specifically exempts the M1 carbine, which I showed you a picture at Iwo Jima was used. It specifically exempts the M1 Garand. The, the reason you exempt them, they have wood. They are wooden. And you, th you know or you think that you can bluff the public into believing that if you ban the black guns, that there will be no trouble with the wooden guns. The reality the, is the it's all here. unconstitutional, as my colleague, Mr. Bishop, from North Carolina has already pointed out in the context of Heller, where they said that guns in common use would can't be banned. Would the gentleman yield now? And I will not yield to you, Mr. Chairman. You can take your own time, please. But I would yield if you can explain no, why the black the plastic point. gun that shoots 223 is more light, lethal than the wooden gun that shoots 30 out six. The, uh, as the point was made previously, the M1 of World War II. The various weapons that we saw the Chinese marching with, uh, those ancient guns uh, were far less lethal because they, had, they, they may have had a larger slug, but the muzzle velocity was much less. They didn't uh, uh, tumble, and uh, that's why they were excluded from the, uh, from, from the ban. What I am telling you is you are putting on a show today because you have, you're flashing pictures of a plastic gun around. I'm directing my comments to the chairman. The, uh, because you know you can scare people with that. And you need to apologize to all the people that you invited here today, telling them that you would solve their problem by banning the plastic gun. Because Mr. that chairman, is I seek not recognition. going to solve anything. I just want to say very briefly, 
Mr. Massey made reference to the M16. That's already banned as an automatic weapon. He knows that. I also want to say, if you find historic or relics that do in fact are in fact not a current danger, to, to require families of victims of gun violence to sit and listen to that nonsense is deeply, deeply disrespectful. This is a bill which is designed and has identified assault rifles with military style characteristics that make them particularly deadly. And oh, by the way, they just happen to turn up in nearly every mass shooting in America. And so to take some gun that you think is more dangerous, add it to the list. But that's not the problem. The problem is assault rifles that are military style. We had a ban before it worked. At least respect the victims of gun violence in this room and all across this country enough to not play games with some old, you, uh, what I forget, what, Patton, and probably have some from the colonial times. Like, really? Really? I yield back. Right.